So the question is how do I combine basically Laurel and Marx with contemporary gender, uh, uh, gender studies? Um, first of all, I believe that um, Laurel and Marx are a natural uh, combination. Laurel himself has uh, claimed many times that his entire project of non-philosophy would not have happened had there not been for Marx. And he reads the entire uh, oeuvre of Marx as an essentially non-philosophical project or a project toward non-philosophy. Um, obviously, uh, what he is interested in, uh, Ma uh, Marx, at least in this book, uh, the introduction to non-Marxism, is uh, the part of uh, or the aspect of uh, Marx's writings uh, that enable this exit from uh, philosophy. Um, what I'm uh, more concerned with uh, is the the political potential or potential of um, Marxist writing, and I think that uh, what I attempt to do in uh, this book on Marx and Laruel is in uh, in fact to further. Uh, politicize or render political Laruel's uh, uh, writing itself or perhaps not so much uh, his writings as such but his method and that is the method that I empl uh, employ in my uh, work too. So if we look at uh, Laruel as a method which I have used uh, in my readings of feminist uh, philosophy or gender theory, as you put it in the question. Uh, in the question, for example, the cut of the real was a book uh, dealing with gender theory uh, via Laruel. So, so if this dealing with, uh, if we look at it as a method, um, I think that uh, what I tried to do, uh, I hope I have accomplished in some to some extent um, with this latest book uh, and um, with, the, uh, with the reading of Marx there is in fact to further yeah, render political or incre increase the political potential of uh, Laruel's method or at least my understanding of it. Um, it relates to gender uh, theory uh, by the very fact that it is one of the subjects of the book. So the status of uh, women, the female body, and uh, more generally the vulnerable uh, bodies uh, and their position in capitalism, uh, their status of uh, object of exploitation by capitalism is one of the central questions of uh, the book. So. In a way, that is the topic, that is the problem I deal with in the book, and I treat it with the help of uh, or uh, with the, the theoretical material provided by Marx and by Laruel. So that would be the link. I'm not uh, rejecting the, the concept of uh, gender. Uh, I don't uh, see it as obsolete. I'm uh, re resorting uh, more often, ever more often, to the use of uh, the concept of uh, sex when I want to uh, refer to the materiality of the female situation, situatedness. Um, in the world uh, to the physicality uh, when I referred to uh, when, uh, when it is important for me to make reference to this materiality and uh, when uh, in this book on uh, Marx and Laurel it was um, necessary, uh, necessary because uh, it's um, just a book written in Marxian vein so it was, um, uh, the reference was sometimes indispensable, but I'm not doing away with the use of gender and I don't see it as obsolete. I mean, I sometimes protest uh, against this uh, rule, absolute rule of identity, politics, and uh, this uh, total identitarian uh, turn uh, 
uh, which sort of uh, becomes obl oblivious uh, sometimes, it seems, to the materiality uh, behind the reality it tries to um, explain. So, so sometimes I protest against uh, this uh, tendency. N n n it's not uh, just a tendency, actually. It is an established absolute rule of this discourse. Uh, and sometimes, uh, yeah, I, uh, in protest, I reject the, the term of gender, but I, I wouldn't say that, you know, it is a theoretically, you know, responsible act to just do away with it. I mean, we gained a lot with this uh, theory. And it, uh, it, it is important to keep this legacy, not to remain entrapped in it, not to uh, permit uh, this tendency to take sway of uh, the entire field of feminist theory uh, for it to become the new orthodoxy. So I would, um, uh, I would say I'm just trying to move away from this po possible entrapment of orthodoxy of this sort, but I am not, you know, abandoning the whole legacy and I'm not abandoning the, the term gender. What strikes me most uh, is, uh, you know, the high level of, you know, uh, theoretical competence uh, of uh, the students. Uh, I mean, it is a hard crowd. It's, it's not easy to answer to their questions. Uh, you feel sort of under scrutiny all the time. I don't know if this is a, the promo part, <laughs> but... I see it as uh, one. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have a sense that, you know, I'm not dealing with just the students, it's just uh, fellow academics, peers. So, yeah, really, you know, high level of preparation, whether for this school or just they are this profile of the students. So, an excellent crowd. <laughs>